Hi, I am Dr. K. Hemant Kumar, Consultant Surgical Gastroenterologist, Manipal Hospital, Old Airport Road, Bangalore. Today I would like to talk on one of the common surgical condition that is hernia. Hernia, in the next few minutes I would like to take you through the symptomatology of the hernia, the risk factors and what are the treatment options available for the management of this clinical condition. Hernia, if you look at the definition, it is an abnormal protrusion of the visceral contents through its containing cavity. The most common locations of hernia are the inguinal region, that is the groin hernias, which are seen in the lower part of the abdomen. The next common location is the umbilical hernia, which is seen near the belly button. So what are the risk factors? Why do some people develop these hernias? If you look at the risk factors for the development of hernia, it is in anything which increases the intra-abdominal pressure will leads to these hernias. So it is commonly seen in labors or people who are involved in heavy machinery works or certain people who are chronic smokers leading to chronic cough or patients with chronic constipation. So these are certain uh, group of people who have an increased intra-abdominal pressure which are responsible for the development of the hernia. So how to diagnose that some people have developed in hernia. So if you look at the symptom, it is mainly an abnormal bulge near the belly button or in the lower abdomen. This abnormal swelling which increases on standing or cuffing and it reduces on lying down. So this is the telltale sign that somebody is suffering from hernia. Though most of the patients will usually have only this abnormal swelling, some patients might also develop discomfort or pain or complications related to this swelling. So for the diagnosis, a visit to a physician and a simple clinical examination will fetch us the diagnosis. And in certain group of patients, we might order or imaging investigations like CT scan for better characterization of the defect size and to look for the contents of the hernia. Regarding the treatment of hernia, Though it is a slow growing one and most of the times people are asymptomatic, the definitive treatment is always a surgical repair. The surgical repair again what we call as a hernioplasty, usually we close the defect and reinforce with a mesh and what we call as a mesh hernioplasty. And again the approaches are the open approach, laparoscopic and robotic and in our hospital most of the cases we do irrespective of the complications we do using a laparoscopic or a robotic approach as it has been found that it leads to a rapid recovery earlier return to activities and lesser pain thank you